Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of the Biden administration's efforts to expand and strengthen the Abraham Accords. When I met with Israeli political and military leaders last month, they emphasized the importance of regional defense and deterrence against Iran's malign activities. That is why President Biden's reaffirmation of the United States' commitment to Israel's security during his recent trip to the region is so important. Our alliance with Israel is built on shared values and shared interests, which include strengthening regional security and economic opportunity. Saudi Arabia's decision to open its airspace to civilian flights to and from Israel is a significant step toward re regional integration and diplomatic normalization. This important step, thanks to President Biden's diplomatic efforts, lays the groundwork for additional economic, political, and security ties between these two countries. I commend President Biden for his success in building on the Abraham Accords, and I look forward to working with the administration to further deepen regional partnerships that benefit Israel's security. I yield back. For what purpose is the gentleman 